<laughs> okay. Welcome back to my channel. Been a long time. Long time as in two weeks. I've been doing some shopping as always. Bank holiday, student loan, 20% off most places. So I had to, I just had to do it. I had to do it to <laughs> I basically went to ASOS, Zara. I said, why am I out of breath? Hello. <clears throat> went to ASOS, Zara office. But the amount of stuff which I bought from ASOS is actually alarming. Let me, this is one bag, one bag. This is the biggest, that's the biggest ASOS part. <laughs> that is the biggest ASOS parcel that I have ever had. It's even bigger than a box basically. And then I got some shoes as well. Just got a lot of things, a lot of clothes. And we're just gonna get right in on it. This is probably gonna be a try and haul and thank you so much for watching this. I really appreciate it. Anyway, let's start with the big kahuna. ASOS. So, first thing out of the package. A leather jacket. A leather jacket. This is from New Look. Got this in a size up. Um, I'm looking for on the hunt for a spring jacket so I thought a leather jacket would be a good start. I got this, I want like an oversized one, I've been seeing Sophia Tuxford wear this one on the screen now from House of Seabee, it's like 100 and something pounds, don't want to spend that much money on a uh, jacket. Uh, I got this in a size up to try and make it look oversized and cooler, so I'll try that on. This is the first leather jacket, not as oversized as I wanted it to be, and this lapel, it kind of just sticks out. Like it's not folded well, pressed well. This whole thing, it's just kind of like really small. When I wanted like the lapels to be like exaggerated. This isn't the oversized jacket which I'm looking for. This is more of a jacket where you buy it in your size and it will fit well. Uh, but it has like those zips there, but it does not. Uh, are these zips in These are real pockets. So that's always good. Quite deep. Next up, I got this top. I got this top. So one shoulder oh, bandeau top, kind of. In this neon yellow. I don't know why I bought this, but I was really drawn to it. But it's kind of um, short. It's not like a long bandeau. So like right now, this is halfway across my boot. So we'll try this on, see how that goes. It's kind of like a scuba material. It's kind of shiny. Probably can't see that, but. And it smells weird. Oh, I, oh that's disgusting color. Don't mind this half of the situation. But as suspected, this does not cover my boobs. So that's fun. So this is probably going back because it doesn't fit properly. But it's not as bad. I could get away with it if I really wanted to, but I don't think I want to. This is me. Quite like it actually, with joggers. These are a pair of jeans. You'll see in next week's video. You're welcome. Um, <laughs> nobody asked for that, but anyway, next thing. Oh, okay. So, hello. These are some wide ass trousers. Um, let me just, so I got, let's read the description, so I uh, got these wide leg combat trousers, they're only combat because they've got these pockets on the side, they're like a chino material, pockets are real, so that's great, I get to have, all back pockets are fake, so I was going to say I get to have six pockets, but I only get four as normal, so what's the point of having the extra pockets if they're not going to work? Anyway, so these are like a wide leg black trouser. We'll try these on. Okay, these are the 90s combat trousers. They are a bit tight here. I actually don't mind that. 
only problems I have with these, I'm not sure if you can see, is they kind of drop directly where my ankle ends. I wanted it to go a bit lower than that because I wanted them to have like a drop to go over trainers, if that makes sense. And these pockets are fun. These pockets are fun. These pockets are not fun. They're also big on the waist here. Thick, tight here. It's really not a great match. I think I might buy the next size up and hope. I want to buy the next size up, but then I know this is gonna be even bigger. Why is it so hard? Why is it so hard to be perfect? Um, no. Other than, okay, let me try it on with a belt, be Um, but the belt is, I'm gonna have to sit on these. Not literally. Next up <laughs> is this uh, blue knitted top. It's like a periwinkle blue. Periwinkle. See, I know my colours. It's got like a. I don't know how I'm gonna wear this. <laughs> oh, I didn't think this one through. Anyway, um, I'll try it. But it's really cute. Put it pass up on it. It's like knitted crop top. Great for summer if it decides to get sunny in England. So let's hope for that. Okay, so this top does not look as bad as I thought it was going to. It doesn't look great, but it doesn't look that bad. Um, it's fun. This is definitely a summer top. You know, running down on holiday. Don't know why I'm running on holiday in this, but I like it. So I got these trousers. Okay. Fun story with these trousers, I bought these before, but I was like, oh, I'll wait until they're 20% off. So I waited and I got them again. However, I just realized I got them in the wrong size. These ones fit me, but they were a bit big around the waist. And they, I think they didn't have the size which I wanted. Anyway, they're like corduroy um, cream kick flared trousers. You'll see them, probably seen them on the screen. They've actually got five pockets, so that's nice. They're not liars like the other ones. Um, and they're like emboss, emboss corduroy with these J prints. Okay, I like these. I'm actually gonna keep something. Wow, yay. <laughs> um, quite like these. They're nice and loose, fun. Only problem is, once again, this bit is gappy. So, because I like basically everything else about them, I'm just gonna deal with it. <laughs> oh yay! I'm actually happy about these. <laughs> oh, I actually really like them. Yeah, I like them. Gonna keep them. Let me just pop a belt on, make sure that I can deal with it. If not, I'll get the old sewing machine out, out from the woodworks, and try it. Oh, I can't wear a black belt with these. Gonna have to buy a new belt then. <laughs> I like these. I feel free. I feel one with the earth. I feel free. I feel one with the earth. Jeans for the video. Coming soon. Jeans for the video. Coming soon. Uh, guess what? Jeans for the video. Coming soon, my guys. Okay. I don't know what possessed me to buy this. But I did. It's literally just a, like, this is just, hello, this is a boxy green white striped top. Just thought this is a fun basic, it's like a three quarter drop shoulder sleeve. Let me come back and focus. Uh, yeah. I got this one from the curse section so it could be more of a size. This is a slouch outfit. I might keep this actually because it's just slouchy, like, tuck this in to me jeans. Didn't know you could see this. this is my suitcase with a jacket on it so just push that out for you. and it's just kind of like wow she's off duty she's calm and collected she's dummy another jacket this one's from Bershka and this is really cute however Anyway, um, this is really fun. It's a trucker jacket, but it's leather and it's got white contrast stitching. 
and it's cropped. And so this is the Bershka one. Um, it's a bit too tight. I like it in like the neck size up, but they don't have a neck size up. Um, it smells weird. I feel like a. I don't know what I feel like. I feel like an old man. I don't know why, but I do. There's also nowhere to put anything. Like I could only put my phone in here, which is not um, practical. If this was the next size up, I would like it. It just is a bit too fitted for me. But I like this back detailing, except for this bit where it's like the tag. But I like the back detailing of like that westerny thing. And I also got some shoes. And these are from ASOS as well. These are my summer shoes. Tell me which ones you think I should keep. So, I have these ones. These are the Nike M2K Technos. These are in the white, black and green. I like the green. That's what really drew me to this shoe. Kind of matches my nails, also really not. Um, yeah, this was like, this was on sale so I didn't get 20% off it. So it's like 70 something pounds. Should I keep them, my guys? Should I keep them? Do I keep these? <laughs> these are also Nike M2K Technos in this colour. Like, oh, that was so peng. I don't use the word peng, but for this year I have to. This is in the colour white and pink. I mean, orange is there as well. But, whew, hello. Look at, oh, I love these. Literally. I can't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> If I return these, I'll be thinking about them. However, these are a summer shoe. <laughs> you can get away with wearing them in winter, but I don't know, dog. Let me know. So I feel like those, these are a spring shoe. Those are more all round, but these are cheaper because these were full price, but then with 20% off, it came to like 60 something pounds, making it like 10 pounds cheaper than those. But I'm trying to get my brother to give me money for these for no reason. Taxes. Okay, 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 okay. So the next two shoes are Nike Air Force Ones. They're the same shoe, different sizes. So I'm a seven and a half. Those two shoes, seven and a half, fit fine. These, they fit big. I knew this when I bought them. Please help. Oh, what color do you think they are? Guess right now. I'll leave it in the comments. Anyway, um, these, I had a white pair but they were too small. I got them in a six and they were too small. So I went into the store, I was like, do you have a six and a half? And they were like, no. I was like, cool, great. I know you do half sizes online, but thank you. Anyway, um, ooh, sneak peek. <laughs> um, so I tried on a six and a seven and I was like, okay, seven's too big. Six is too small but it's not small. Seven, I was like slipping off like poop, but six, I was like, oh, it's just a bit uncomfortable, but like they should mold to my feet. So I got the six in the Air Force One white Citron. I've got a yellow sole. Yellow is one of my favorite colors. Got the yellow bit of the tongue. Just, yeah, really nice shoe. And then I went online to Offspring. They have the six and a half. I thought, oh, let me buy them so that I can compare because I can just return them because the, my old white ones shoe do 365 day returns who knew I was going to sell them on Depop but then I found out that I could return them instead I returned them bought these ones and in Offspring I got the six and a half which are actually those ones these are the six however what number is here we don't, let's start here what number is on this box you can't see that six what numbers here you can't see that seven they put the seven in the six box so i was trying these both on and i was like why are the sixes bigger than the six and a halves because there is seven <sighs> so now i also don't know what to do because the six and a half fits on one foot but not the other foot because apparently my feet are two different sizes who knew my floor's a mess but that's all i got from asos okay so i went to zara 
Personally, I got. I think I saw in Emily Philpott's video, she was wearing like this um, tank top, and I think it was this one because I saw the colours that she was wearing. And this is just a white tank top. It's like a slinky material, it's double lined, so that's nice. And yeah, got this in a medium though because the other size, the large looks quite large. I don't know who I think I am, what 2000s movie I came out from, but I don't know why I thought it would be a good idea <laughs> to put a vest on top of my jeans. Not just on top of my jeans though, on top of my belt. I look like a, ooh, no, I don't even know, I don't, I don't want to talk about it to be honest. But, this, this is the body, not bodysuit, this looks like a bodysuit, this is the best top. I actually quite like it. It's fun, fresh. The only, only problem I have, you might not be able to see it on camera, but there's like, where it's double lined, it's only double lined like here, and that bit cuts off here. I don't know, I'm just caressing myself. Um, so you can kind of see that line, it's kind of annoying. But you can't really tell. Uh, you can tell because this bit's double line but this bit's not so this is like white and this is like my skin under white but I like the neckline I have a bodysuit already like this so I might not keep this because I'm trying to get rid of clothes not gain them not accumulate them because save the world and all that jazz this is from pretty little thing well it's on Halloween actually basically the same. If anything, this is whiter. Ooh. Powers. And I, oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> Next one, Zara, is this V-neck top. It's ripped. Uh, it's in like this fun taupe color. V-neck, uh, short sleeves, a raw edge. It's very like, Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Not heavy, but it's like got some, it like drapes, got some weight to it. Don't know what I'm saying. Got this in an XL, so it can be a bit more oversized. Maybe I can wear it off one shoulder. Who knows? Um, I don't like it. First of all, I thought this was going to be a bit bigger than this. It's not. I look like a mum. <laughs> look like a young mum, though. Like a cool mum. Uh, let me try tucking it in. See if that's any better. Hey, no, <laughs> you can't do that. It just springs back into place. Don't like it. Why is it so tight on the arms? Why do I look like a parent? All questions I would like to be answered. Zara. Um, just, just, just let me know. Let me know. Next. Ooh. I forgot I got this one actually. Um, hmm. So I got this lime green uh, cropped vest. Bicycle. Ribbed. It's cropped. It's a vest. It's from Zara. I'm not going to tell you. Okay, I don't know how much anything from ASOS was except for the shoes. But. <laughs> Everything, oh my god, I spit. It's disgusting. Why did I lick it off? <laughs> anyway, this was $7.99. It was cheaper because this is Euro. Was it was cheaper? I don't know. That was, yeah, $7.99. This was $9.99. This was, this is the only reason I got it, honestly. $3.99. I was like, wow. $3.99? So, you know what I had to do? You know what I had to do to them? I had to get it in black as well. Because <laughs> it was $3.99. They told me to join life and I did. I, I joined the life. Just uh, cropped, raw edge, not raw, overlocked edges. Kind of big arm holes. Black and green. Vest, basics. $3.99. Probably. Let's hope we can't go wrong when we try it on. My guys. Okay, so this is the green vest top. I actually kind of like it. You know, for summer. 
We're cruising around town, listening to music. Ayaz is blaring. <laughs> I don't know what's going with that. Anyway, quite like this. Ooh. Hello. The black one. So this is the black one. I can't. I'm not sure. It just feels a bit tighter. This one. But I do, I also like it. It's very low here. I feel like I'm more likely to keep the green one than I have this one. I don't know why, but I just don't like it. <laughs> I don't like the fit of it. It's just, it's just not me. 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 Just not me. Just not me. Oh, how could I forget? Got a couple bits from CD Drug just for bands. The first thing I got was this Barry M Tropical Twist palette. I have a different version of this. A purpley one. I used it in my chit chat get ready with me and the links there I think. Maybe there. Who knows? We'll find out. Um, and I like it so I bought this one. And then because I spent over £9 in Barry M I got this which is a in the tropics scented shimmer body mist peach crush this was 1p on the receipt so i don't know whether it only came with as 1p because i spent the money from before but maybe if you just take this to them you might just get it for 1p who knows but it smells really nice it smells like peaches not really actually um, all of them seemed used but not used that much this is like gold shimmer in it i'll spray some on my arm now my arm's shimmering can you see that? Can you see that? Can you see that? Probably not. Next, I got these two. This is the MUA Pro Base Concealer and Foundation. Uh, this is in shade 188 and this is in shade 185. Uh, I got this because I saw Sid and L speak about it. I think I heard the word and I saw this. I heard them say, have you tried this? no pores by the end of the day so i'm like i'll try it <laughs> i i don't even know if that's what i was watching but anyway um this isn't even the darkest shade as well so well done mua i like to buy foundations from places uh, why did i buy this foundation i have no use for it i don't wear foundation why or oh, what's wrong with me anyway it was five pounds so I had to, I had to. And I got the matching concealer as well. And it was buy one get one half price on MUA. So this was £1.25, £2.50 regularly. And then 20% off of top, off of that, off of that. 20% off top of that. Next, the last thing, got this vitamin E skincare hydrating mist. Oh gosh, it kind of triggers up my nose allergies. It's very heavily scented. It smells like coconut or something. I don't know why I got this. I saw someone on Instagram, Chloe Morton, she's also a YouTuber, and she talks about this. I don't know what she uses it for, but she uses it. So I bought it and I just spray it on my face before I go to bed and when I wake up. Not when I wake up, before I leave the house, so. Anyway, that's it. <laughs> that's my haul. I hope you enjoyed something from this, please please <laughs> um but yeah thank you so much for watching this video i really appreciate it and if you made it all the way to the end i'm sorry i just i just can't stop doing that but i'm sorry <laughs> thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed please like and subscribe if you don't i don't really mind do what you want me and my 19 subscribers will be here happy